welcome back to the channel. Appreciate the support. And check it out. What Bravo Concealment is doing with this holster is ridiculous. I mean, this thing is $50. Now, I don't know what you guys think. I don't know how you guys roll, but 50 bucks for a holster that holds a light is ridiculous. Really ridiculous. This is the Glock 19 with the TLR1 A shell. And this holster right here is 50 bucks. And not only that, they're giving you a 30 day. I guess guarantee in a way, if you don't like it, you send it back and they give you the money. And there's also giving you lifetime warranty. Now, I don't get paid by then to make this video. I wish it will pay me though. If you want to be a sponsor, definitely jump here. We really appreciate that. You guys know what happened with YouTube and all that crap. But I got to tell you guys, for 50 bucks, it's fantastic. What a great price with what a great holster. I mean, this thing, you could, you could just check it out, guys. This thing... Uh, molding it just looked really great the retention is fantastic and by the way i have this holster for months i mean fantastic they actually sent me this holster and the torsion holster maybe i don't know six seven months ago who know and they really don't care they just send me the holster and it's like hey man review the holster whenever you can you know whatever just you know just do it and really didn't tell me what to do how to do what to do you know stuff like that some companies will do that guys so you got to keep that in mind they just send me this hey show it to the audience let us know give us some feedback and i got to tell you the feedback is fantastic very very small if you compare the fact that it has a light very very small and to give you just kind of like a look this is the better holster uh for mmp 45 now obviously an mmp 45 is a bigger gun but you guys kind of get the picture you see this holster right here versus this again this one has a light this one doesn't and you can see how big this holster is compared to the bravo concealment holster let me kind of put it in top just to kind of give you an idea and you guys can see right there. I mean, the difference, or maybe you can't see it, but the difference is, is, is pretty noticeable. I mean, again, this one is way smaller, way more compact than this one. I'm gonna do a video just put in side by side just so you guys can see in the future. So just definitely stay tuned for that. All right, so let me give you a closer look and then I'm gonna put it on. But obviously you could see right here how it kind of turns, right? Kind of turns a little bit, kind of curves. The same thing here, it curves a little bit as well. So again, what that does is it really rides close to your body, right? It's going to ride really, really close to your body. Again, the retention is fantastic. All the sides right here are great. I mean, you could just like roll your finger right here and it works really, really nice. Now, the clips in the back are really tight. And I don't know if that's a, that's a pro, that's a con, but the clips right here, if you can see this right here, guys, when you put a belt, when you slide your belt through, it may be really, it's kind of tight right there. So it, it kind of takes a little bit of pain. You're going to stick it through there and, and it's going to be a little bit painful. That's the only thing that I'm, I'm like, eh. But again, they do that to be able to, you know, get that holster really tight to your body. So again, that's why I say maybe a problem, maybe a con. But again, they do that to bring the holster really close to your body. Like right now, I'm wearing this Vettas holster, right? And if you're going to stick it through here, obviously this is not going to go so and obviously this side right here and this is a step down from the uh, cobra bell buckle it's not going to go neither so essentially what you're going to need to do is that you need to remove this and get this take it off and slide it through and then put this back now some of you guys are willing to do that me personally i don't like that you know that's too much work for me so i just use some of the, all the belts that i have for example guys this is the bell that i just reviewed here in the channel and uh, this is the $35 bell. If you haven't watched, I'll link it down below. But again, you know, easily this one can go through with no problem. But you can still see here how tight it is, right? So again, kind of to give you an idea, that's how it's going to sit. It's going to sit really tight. So again, you know, you may have to deal with your belt, you know, your Cobra belts and all that. You may have to deal with that. But again, you know, it's going to work. As long as you remove this portion, you can loop it through and then put it back again. To me, you know, some of you guys are willing to do that. Me personally, no, I don't like it. That's too much belt, uh, too much work. So I just use a regular belt like this uh, to slip, you know, loop it around and use my holster. You guys can see here, it just looks fantastic. All right, guys, so obviously it's made out of Kydex. You guys can see that. 
I mean, it's Kaide. Kaide seems to be uh, good to me. I like it. I, you know, I don't, I don't really care about scratching my guns or anything like that. It hasn't really scratched uh, the Glock 19 too much. But again, you know, it's Kaide. You know, this is really good for some of you guys in the winter weather up there right now i mean the weather is freaking crazy right now so for some of you guys out there in the winter weather this may be kind of easy to conceal in a way i'm wearing this hoodie not hoodie like uh i don't even know what this is called but i'm wearing this thing i'm gonna put it on i'm gonna show it to you guys all right guys so here we are some of you guys need to control yourself when you see my tactical love handles right but here you are and this is the holster back here again that's how it said let's bring it closer so again clock 19 with the TLR1, you guys can see how easy it comes out. Come back up. It's kind of hard to do this with the, with the camera, right? But come out, come back up. I mean, feels good, really good right there. Usually, I don't wear this type of clothes because where I live, right? But it's kind of cold now. We're hitting about the 40s. I know some of you guys are getting uh, slammed up there, especially Hunt for Food. He's getting slammed up there where he at. But again, you know, this is kind of how it looks. Kind of give you a look right here. Kind of give you an idea. If you look in a winter state, you may be able to wear this with no issues. But again, you know, I mean, it's still noticeable. You could you could see a little bit of printing right there. A little bit of printing. But again, uh, if you have a jacket or something like that that you put in top, it would definitely disappear, right? So if you have some type of jacket, some type of coat or something like that, it will be really nice. And again, it feels very comfortable. If I move around, you know, let's put it like this. Kind of give you a really good idea when it comes out. I mean, just fantastic, guys. Again, 50 bucks. Uh, <laughs> that's just unbelievable. What a crazy uh, price. I'm wearing here my $35 belt. And if you haven't watched this video, I'll link it down uh, in the description below. But that's how it looks. Again, $50. It gives you a Glock 19 with a TLR1. Let me tell you something, guys. This right here is the real deal. I mean, this gun with this light. I mean, we're talking about a really nice gun for self-defense. A really nice gun for anything. Even Marines. Uh, I want to say it was a Marsak. I think uh, Mattel told me a while ago that they were using Glock 19. So this is a really good deal. And pair with this holster. It's just fantastic. All right, guys, so there you have it. Here's the holster from Bravo Concealment, 50 bucks. That's just ridiculous. That price is amazing. Get yourself one. I'm going to link it down below, and we appreciate Bravo Concealment sending this here to the channel for testing and evaluation and all that good stuff. So I appreciate you guys watching, and as always, God is in control.